It is high time we did some glazing. I have been putting this off for weeks, so what you see me stacking here is pretty much everything I've made in September. This one glazing session took me multiple hours, and we're going to break it up into multiple videos. The glazing process can be pretty tedious. First, I have to wipe every surface of these pots with a damp sponge. Pottery studios are extremely dusty, and these pots have been sitting for weeks, so they have a fine layer of dust that could prevent the glaze from sticking properly. Think about how you flour a table before kneading bread on it so that the bread doesn't stick. That's kind of what the dust can do if I leave it on the pot. To make sure I'm getting glaze on the inside of the bowl, I'm using a technique called belching, and honestly, I'm not doing a very good job here, so don't use this as a guide. The lurching motion should theoretically pop the air bubble inside of the bowl and allow it to be glazed. This does leave bald spots from where I'm holding onto the foot, so I dab glaze onto those spots with a finger. All that's left is to clean the glaze off of the bottom of the foot so it doesn't melt onto the kiln shelf. I'll be posting the reveal of these bowls tomorrow, follow so you don't miss it. 